Oops, I thought that was an actual treasure chest filled with um, elixirs or stuff like that. Come to find out where Tinas' location is in Cenulia South, that's actually where the Mercury Crest is. So let's go on ahead and finally finish off Sanubia Desert, but first, we still might need to get a little bit more level. After all, this is a short part. That and Sanubia Desert just so happen to have a boss. Well, I wouldn't call it a boss, more like a mandatory creature fight. Let's go on ahead and give Orin some eye drops so he can finish off that dragon. Otherwise, he'll probably kill Waka. If the bird doesn't do it first. Or Condor, whatever the fuck they're called. Nonetheless, it's dead. Waka wasn't recently inflicted with Solo, as I told you. And... I would watch out for... I would watch out for that, uh, arrangement of monsters, because someone may be inflicted with dark for things like that to happen. Okay, let's go get some more treasure. And Riku's just far, far behind me. She done probably got lost in her homeland. That's bad. Then again, in the sequel, she gets lost in her homeland. But speaking of Riku, now it's the time to actually put Kamari and Riku to the test. Or more like having to steal some stuff. Besides, grenades and Albed Primer, I mean Albed Potions, sorry. Why am I saying Primers? Grenades and Albed Potions are your friend. At least I'll give something for Riku to uh, mix with. As far as potions, I mean, uh, grenades go, and for the Albed Potions, well, they're your best free remedy to soft. Because at least it'll give you an extra thousand. Yay! Let's go ahead and kill some more enemies, because after Mara, Kimari got r I mean, after all. Why did I say after all? After all, Kimari got robbed of experience points thanks to the Sandworm in the last episode. That's the only reason why I'm giving, trying to get him to have some experience points. Because where we're we going next? We're gonna need all of us. We're gonna need all the experience and strength we're gonna get. Let's see. Oh look, there's the boss. This thing can be rather annoying. And I forgot to change out the weapon. What the hell was I thinking? I'm gonna have to switch out, dumbass. But yeah, you can, uh, lance its seed burst from him. Let's go on ahead and, uh, heal Orin of his confusion. Now, let's switch out dumbass because this weapon's only hurting, helping the enemy rather than hurting him. Basically, this is one of those annoying plants that uses seed bursts that confuses people. But beware of seed cannon because the seed cannon does a hell of a lot of damage. Just like it did before. Of course, nothing does more damage than Orin Confused. And that's the last thing we need is for Orin to be confused. It would be better if Lulu was confused. Yeah, I know, I'm wasting a fury. But at least it'll drop it down a couple thousand. God 
damn it! Now it's targeting Kamari. Let's get someone else for this. Hmm. Let's try Dark Buster. See if that works. Ah, son of a bitch is immune. Ha ha! You missed. Not screw it. Let's try out Drain. And that didn't do anything. Yeah, let's go on ahead and cure Kamari, because at this point, there's no reason to have two people attacking you. Yeah, let's switch that. Ha! Flame Tongue! Why didn't I do this earlier? I don't know! Oh Christ, Lulu! Okay, that's not bad, because Lulu's attacks are pretty weak. Let's go on ahead and get use another remedy. And... There you go! Let's see, what else can we do? Fire! Payback for what you just did. And that's the end of this boss. Sweet. Now we can go to home. And let's go ahead and fill this uh, spear grade while we can. We'll use up all the spear points that we can. Let's see. Yeah, Orin could have used magic defense. And Well at least Riku gets an agility boost. Oh wait, I forgot about Kamari. Let's see what Kamari gets. Let's move over here and we get a magic defense boost. Yes, Kamari could have used that. Move a little bit further, and we're here! And I really don't know how Riku actually caught up, or let alone walked past me. Wait, what's going on? What the hell's going- Those sons of bitches! Well, uh, somebody must have told the Yevin about the all bed because there's fiends everywhere! You would have stopped there. Of all the places, let's go. Uh, nobody didn't even mention about Yuna until just now. But that means Yuna's here at home. Here, in this place that's being invaded. He's dead. The Kuwato? Son of a bitch! A war between Yevon and the Albed? The Guado. Guado go for the summoner. Oh God damn it, Seymour! I know it's you. Or so you have something to do with it. One of the two. Well, uh, welcome to home. Man, this is gonna be tough. Who? Sid, leader of the Albed. He's my dad. Let's go. Yeah, we have to save Uni. Not only Yuna, right? Right. Well. Here's the thing about home. There are three Obed Primers here that, uh, you must find. Oh, 
otherwise... Well, there's three other primers here you must find right then and there, otherwise you'll never get them again. The three other primers here, there is one that we... Well, Tidus just passed by. And I'll find the other two, as well as get through a majority of home in part 53. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.